was going to ask, I feel like the Dallas Cowboys got a ton of attention for all the investments they made in their offensive line, especially with all those first round picks. Mm -hmm. Don and you, how, how heavily this team has invested in the offensive line? Uh, like our team? That makes you know, uh, it does. Um, if you just look at the talent we have in the room, um, from top to bottom, all the way down to our, you know, the third string, uh, third string guys, it's the amount of talent is unreal. Um, there's so much depth. There's not a huge amount of drop off from, you know, from one team to the next. And um, I think that's why we were really successful last year is just, you know, the amount of talent we have in there. Yeah, drop off was obviously proved last year with all the injuries. And then how, how impressed are you with seeing a healthy Toronto Armstead out here? Oh season? man, I'm it's unbelievable. Seeing. You know, uh, <laughs> even compared to last year, I, I think he's vastly improved. Um, and that's saying a lot because he was, you know, damn good last year. Um, but just watching him through these, you know, first few days of training camp, um, it's it's unbelievable to watch. Uh, I'm really excited to see him this season because uh, I think I think he's going to be a dominant player. Were you pretty aware of him in offensive line circles before? I'm yeah, sure actually, I was at the, the I, was at, I was at the Senior Bowl mm -hmm. with him. Actually, uh, he came in late. He was a late pickup because I forgot somebody got hurt, um, and then I think he was coming from the East West Shrine game. Uh, so when he came to practice and I was watching him, I was like, why wasn't he invited in the first place? You know, this guy was under the radar and uh, you know, got to talk to him uh, real cool and all. And then um, you know, it just so happened I get picked up by the Saints last year and then same room. So, uh, you know, I was definitely aware of the guy and when he got paid, I was I was definitely happy for him. Larry, yeah, Larry you had a tough to... job last year replacing, come, stepping in to replace Jarm. Yeah. How comfortable are you now, I guess, in that role, in that position? Um, I'm pretty comfortable. Um, you know, just the versatility of all the guys that we have in the room make it, makes it really easy for me, you know, to step in. And um, the coaching is, you know, top notch. Uh, they make it really easy for the guys to, uh, like anybody, to just come into this offense and, you know, pick it up extremely fast. So, um, and just the chemistry that we have now is, um, you know, we've meshed, we've meshed together so much better um, uh, compared to like the beginning of last year. We, start, we really figured each other out. So um, it, it's, you know, it, it's a good thing. We have a good thing going right now. Speaking of that, that versatility, losing Senio, who, who did a lot of things, do you, do you see anybody that can step into that role yet? Right now, I think, I think all the, uh, I think honestly anybody, you know, Landon can do, um, you know, do just about everything. Um, Ola, Michael Ola is doing really well. Um, like, honestly, all the guys, you know, Will Clapp is playing outstanding right now. So, uh, you know, I definitely miss Senio uh, for sure. You know, it's hard to find a guy like that that can play all those positions so, so proficiently. But, uh, you know, I think we I think we got some guys that can uh, that can step in and, you know, take that type of job over. Larry, when you come anywhere in free agency after, you know, especially a situation like here where it was three straight 79 seasons before and then they had the season that you guys had last year, was it was it affirmation at all for yourself that you know I made the right move coming to a team like New Orleans? And could you see anything like that happening before the season? You know, I, I probably wouldn't put it like that selfishly or anything. Like I'm, uh, I think it was everybody. You know, I think we had the right, you know, the right pieces, the right people, uh, the right coaches, and um, you know after that 0 2 start, I think we really just like took a look in the mirror and be like and you know got the thing going. So I think I think it was a combination and of everything. So uh, you know, I, was, I, I was very happy to be a part of that for sure. You know? What are you seeing out of Ryan Ramchek in his second year, so like his development? I think he's just, he's he's such a confident player now. Uh, there's there's no hesitation about what he does really. Uh, last year, you know, he's playing both sides of the ball, uh, uh, like left and right. And, um, you know, he there's some like indecision at times, you know, in practice and all that. But now stepping into their right tackle, uh, tackle row, and um, uh, he's just absolutely confident in what he does. So uh, I, I'm looking forward to seeing him too. You know, Larry, when you sign with the team, you have expectations. How close did you come to hitting yours last year? You go to the Pro Bowl, you you get a whisker away from the NFC Championship game. You know, um, all that stuff, I, I'm not really too focused on. I'm, I just, you know, want to do my part for my team. So I'm not looking at Pro Bowls, you know. I'm not looking at personal accolades. I'm looking to make my team better, and um, you know, I, I got, uh, you know, I got recognized for what I did, and it was all just because I was trying to help my team, and so that's just, a, you know, kind of an afterthought, you know, all those personal accolades. So I'm just, uh, I'm just doing my best for the guys, you know.